Hey guys, and how's it going? Maniac Moore here. Um, picking up where we left off on the other video, the 212. Uh, we looked at the carburetor and we fixed it. We found out why the the um, why it was leaking, and we put a new gasket on it. And uh, if you guys don't remember, at the end of the last video, we tried starting it up, and it wouldn't start up. The a uh, fuel line was pinched. I went under there and I fixed it. I didn't film it, but I fixed it because it, it was pinched. Um, <clears throat> happy Halloween, you guys. Today is October 31st. <laughs> this month flew. I'm telling you what, this, everything flies by for some reason. As you get older, it just all flies by. I thought it was Monday today to find out it's Thursday so um let's go on ahead and dive into this tractor um last time we had it running we figured out that it was having an over revving problem where you throttle it up or you choke it and it would just throttle up way too high um here to figure out actually I'll move you guys over here in just a minute um what it's doing is I will show you guys quick. Um, the way I have it set up, if I can get the camera, there we go, is uh, as you guys can see, that's the choking cable right here, the choking throttle. Uh, when I pull the choke, it's moving the throttle cable which is then pulling up and it's engaging. I don't know if you can see it moving that, but yeah, it needs to be hooked up. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go down there and we're gonna adjust it to where it needs to be and then we're gonna tighten it up. So let's go on ahead and get started on that. And hopefully this is the final, final fix on this tractor. All right, so right here is what I was talking about. I put this in here to hold the choke. Before it was a zip tie, and that didn't work out so well. So I grabbed this to put in there, and so far it it needs tightened down, but it's been working all right. There's a nut on the back of it with a lock washer to hold it in place. I haven't tightened it down yet. I want to get the throttle adjusted where it needs to be before I mess with it. Right there is where it starts moving. So right there, probably right there is where we're going to want it. So I'm going to adjust. I'm going to tighten that. Let me grab a wrench real quick, figure out what size that bolt is, and I'll get a wrench. All right, you guys, I figured I'd save you the trouble and I just went ahead and tightened it down. So, let's go on ahead and check it and make sure that it'll work. I don't want to adjust it. Well, let's put the filter back on it and see if that changes anything. So I really don't want to mess with it and end up having to put it back because I took the filter off of it and I put it back on. Right 
because believe it or not, the uh, fuel ratio will change if you have a filter on there and if you don't have a filter. Learned something new today, didn't you? Huh? Yeah, I don't think that too many kids are going to be trick-or-treating today. It looks kind of miserable outside. It's uh, raining pretty bad. Alright, well, that one's tight. So, hopefully, this will fix up issue we were having. But I don't know. Doesn't leak gas anymore, which is good. I don't want to jinx it though, because if I do, then it will. Uh, there we go. All right, now let's try and start it and see if it'll work. No, I don't. Know. I don't think you guys saw what I was doing. All right, ready. I smell gas. Hmm. I smell gas. Strong smell. I don't smell like that. likely bad, so. always seems that there's something wrong. Let me do some playing with it and I'll come back when I figure something out. Apparently it looks like we've got a leak. I don't see where it's leaking from though. No wet spots. I don't know. Alright you guys, I did some looking around and I can't figure out what the deal is with it. So. What I think we're going to have to do is just adjust, try to adjust the carburetor and see if that helps it or hurts it. Hopefully it helps it. Um, other than that, I really don't know what else to do. It's 
always got problems. So that's the plan for right now. All right, you guys ready? Let's go on ahead and start messing with it. Oh boy. play with it some more. Something's not right. Something is definitely not right. Wish I knew what it was. Put that ratchet away. I should you guys see? I think you can see.
not going to pull the filter housing back off. There's where it's not. Probably that. So we're at, does this have to do? We're going to push this down a little bit, not a lot. Yeah. Bring it back up to. Okay, that's where we want it for right now. We'll adjust it as we go, but that's where I want it for right now. So I know it's framing. Now it's coming back all the way. Let's check and see.
take it off for some reason. I don't understand why. It ran fine before. Don't you guys remember that? It was starting up and running just fine, and then all of a sudden I fix a leak and it's blowing carburetors and not blowing carburetors, but revving up real fast. off with a choke and it won't even stay running. Hmm. What do I do? I am clueless. I'm clueless right now what to do. It's just making me mad. It's not the carburetor, I know that because it ran fine. When I first got it, I it would just it ran absolutely fine. It throttled up and down all right until I changed that gap. Until I changed that gasket. What was that? I heard something. I don't know. But um, anyway, it ran fine and then fixed that leak and I'm getting all these problems from it. So, not sure where to go from here. Hmm. I'm tempted to call it quits, but there's got to be something. Let's pull the air cleaner back off and then take a look at some stuff, the governor assembly and everything. I'm going to get a lot of laughs, but I think I found the problem. The carburetor was loose. I tightened it back on there. We're going to see if that helped. But I want to take a look at this governor arm because it seems like it... That's what we came down here to look at anyway. I didn't... I almost wonder if that's gonna fix it. It was this bolt over here that was loose. I remember tightening them both. I almost wonder if that's what it was. Let's go on ahead and fire it up and see if that does anything. <laughs> Oops. Put it back in idle. You're kidding me. Um, got it up a little. Carbs can need adjusted, but I think we figured out what it was. It's not very bright, am I? Let's see. Let's look. What do you adjust this to? I'm trying to remember what you adjust the. Should be running a little bit better. 
better. Yeah, I mean, I think I... Yeah. Let's try this. Well, that goes to show we're not all perfect. Some of us are <laughs> dumber than others. still throttles up a bit high, but it's idling real good. Adjust the camera. Right, but, hmm. Well, I guess it made for a good video. <laughs> I don't know. Here I was thinking we had another faulty carburetor. Faulty owner, more likely. That might help fix that problem a bit over revving, but that would explain it. back on it and see how it does. I think I'm going to have to adjust that throttle arm a little bit. But I think once I adjust that arm, it should work. Where you guys are. Let me move you over here. Because it's still over revving, but if we can get it where it should be, then. But now it's starting up on its own, which is good. One more turn, and I think we got it. Two more. There we go. Let's try that. And we'll adjust the 
you're also so it holds that. The way it works is this is a, the uh, thing that grabs onto the carburetor. There's a ball on top. I think you've seen it before. This uh, bolt, this nut that I'm turning right now is what it's a set screw. The way it's like a set screw. It's not a set screw, but it's like one. The way it works is it holds that so it doesn't move. Let's try that now and see if it stays where it should. That idle's kind of low. I like that a lot better. I think I like that a lot better than what it was doing before. Let's go on ahead and put the side cover back on it and then we'll put the filter on it and just take it out and drive it around. Make sure that it's running all right under load. That's the way it tested is under load. All right, so the 212 is put back together. Let's go on ahead and try starting it and then we'll drive it out and we'll see how it does. Make sure it starts. Yep. Throttle. What it's doing is it's not throttling up until it gets... There it goes. Alright, let's try it.
but it's running, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. Um, I'll mess with it later on if I get the ambition, but for right now, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.